Hello, Hayden here from Pacific Toyota. Just here to run over this lovely Honda HRV with you. A bit before I do so, a bit about us. So Pacific Toyota, we run two large pre-owned vehicle yards up here in Cairns. This one being my main location at 235 Mulgrave Road. We do stock anywhere between sort of 175 to 200 vehicles in stock. Um, and like I said, we run the largest pre-owned vehicle operation in all of Queensland under the Toyota banner. Across the road, we've got our service centre, Lexus of Cairns showroom and new vehicle showroom. Um, so we run quite a large operation up here out of Cairns. Um, we run through the Servco Group, which is the largest owner of Toyota dealerships within Australia. Um, so basically allows us to buy a bulk amount of cars and sell them at very good prices. But basically the virtual tour is designed to go over the vehicle in complete detail. Any marks that are on the car, I'm going to point it out to you. There is a couple of marks on the front bumper, so I will just go around it. If you have any concerns, please let me know. I only have solutions. So um, I'll just quickly go around and start. And the first ones that I can really notice is probably just this little one here and these little baby scratches just there. Pretty standard, obviously a pre-owned vehicle, you're always gonna have a couple of marks. No paints come off this one here, but there is a little bit of a mark through here. Um, not too sure what has caused that. Um, as I come around, once again, another little minor mark here and also on the bumper there it looks like it may have just had a scrape on a bit of concrete there as well um, which continued up with a very fine scrape through here more than happy to try and get a buff done um, to minimize it I don't think it'll get it out completely but it will make it look that a little bit better I'm um, just coming across the bonnet of the vehicle once again a couple little marks nothing too major um, but just wanted to oh that one come off um, so just that one there just going to continue over there's another little chip mark here another little baby one through here on oh, no, that that came off my finger so did that so did that okay so it's really only those little little chip marks there there's another little one there that came off my finger as well that works out handy right well i'll just continue up around the side now to the base of the a pillar and down as you can see all very well looked after um, just got the alloy here it's a little bit of gutter ash very minor um, but we do see that quite often um, plenty of tread on the tires so you're not gonna be up for a set of tires anytime soon so all very well looked after just continuing my way down as you can see paint works all very good and very well looked after. There's a little bit of a fine mark through here. Very fine. So, just making my way to the back of the car through there. All around, great looking vehicle. Um, once again, plenty of tread on the tyres. So you're not up for a set of tyres anytime soon. Um, just coming around, a little bit of gutter ash. It's very fine. Um, just around the edge of that rim there as well. Um, but once again, it's not very major. Just going to work my way down the roof lining. To open the inside of the car. So once again, all very well looked after. It's a great looking vehicle. Great colour combination. It's got the nice stereo in it. Leather seats. i got to say they're going to be some of the most comfortable seats I've sat in. They're a real nice leather. Um, and you've got the genuine rubber floor mats in there as well. Let's just do the same for the rear of the vehicle. Once again, all very well looked after. Just coming across those floor mats again. All the way through the back. Perfect. All very well looked after. Okay. Just coming to the back of the vehicle. I'll just do the inside of the boot first. As you can see, it's a little bit dirty on that back bumper. There's no real major scrapes. There's a little one just here and another little one just there. Um, but other than that, nothing too major. Boot, quite a large boot in the vehicle. Perfect. I'll just close that one up there so you can do the paint work. But as you can see, all very clean and tidy. Well, needs a wash, but as far as paintwork's going, it's clean and tidy. 
Um, just coming back up through the back here to the top. And I will work my way back down the, the panelling. I just want to get that roof from this side and down to the front. And then I'll work my way back. So once again, a little bit of gutter ash, very fine though. Um, once again, plenty of tread on the tyres. You're not for, up for a set of tyres anytime soon. Um, just continuing back there. A little bit of a mark on here, but I oh know it's come off with my finger, so it's fine. Um, to be honest, I think the car just needs a good wash. Um, there's a couple of little scratches from fingernails in there, uh, if you can see that. Uh, just in there. Just continuing my way down. Once again, another little fine mark through here, um, but nothing too major, and another little mark just here. Like I said, being a pre-owned car, you're always going to have some marks here and there. Um, but look, this car has got um, nowhere near what I'm used to, so that's always a positive. Just means that the previous owners have looked after it. Um, so, all very good through there. I'll just do the same for the front section of the vehicle. Once again, all very well looked after. Anyone who buys this will be very happy with it. Um, it's got the nice sports pedals in it, rubber floor mats, once again the perforated leather seating through there and up. It's going to jump on in and, and turn the car on. Okay, it's just doing its startup procedure. Check tyre pressure. Uh, it's just a tyre pressure lot so that's fine, it's nice and easy. We're gonna put some fuel in it, so when we go to the servo, we'll put some air in the tires. Um, you've got your um, screen here as well, which is also a reversing camera, which comes up just like so. Um, you've then got your air conditioning settings all through here. It's a really nice piano black finish um, with a chrome outline. Um, same through here, all very nice piano finish. Um, you've got this little section there for a smaller, shorter cup, I guess you call it. Um, push that back down like so and that goes back in um, and then you've got your center console through here um, inside I've got the service books just here as well let's turn that one on and warranty and service manual so I'll just go over its services Which one is actually the service section? Oh, yeah, I've gone too far. Let me come back a bit. So, in the service book, it's there, got its first service done. So, it's one month inspection. Next service is done at 8,000 Ks. Um, and then we've done one at 17,000 um, because at the moment it currently has, I think, 18,000 on it. I'm just not sure how to use this screen. There we go. Yep, it's got 17,909 on the clock. So, um, all very good through there. That little light up there, that's the tyre pressure warning light, as well as that there. So, um, don't be too alarmed. Pretty standard. Um, in prestige cars or higher models, they have those extra sensors, which is always handy. Um, but look, that sort of concludes the virtual tour for today. Um, if you do have any further questions, please don't hesitate to give me a call on 0410 839 933. Um, but look, that concludes the virtual tour for today. Um, and like I said, if you've got any concerns, let me know. Um, there's only ever solutions. So thank you for your time.